This is what is used as a vacuum wiper. It's built by Trico. This is on a 1961 International Scout. So what we'll do with this is we're going to take this apart and service the interior of this. <clears throat> the way this works is the vacuum pulls in. There's a, a blade inside there that moves back and forth that creates a wiping action. And there's a set of valves inside here that toggle between left and right. So each time it pulls it to one side, the valve toggles and it allows it to pull vacuum on the other side over here. And so what we'll do is these these have ports right here that keep that. And what it'll do is it'll move back and forth real slow. But when it works perfectly, it basically goes faster. Now you can see some of the inner workings. This this will move the valve back and forth from one side to another. Now watch when I turn this on and this vacuum pump is a little bit loud but I'm going to show you a little trick I learned. See it barely will move. Using a little can o coil here. You see it move the valve over. Now it's getting quicker. This is operated off of engine vacuum right here. So you can see how that valve moves back and forth and it allows it to pull on each side of the wiper seal. And this coil is only a temporary fix. I've got to take it apart and actually grease the insides. Now back in the 50s and 60s when they ran vacuum wipers, there was actually, part of this was, this was a maintenance item. You just did something. You took the wiper motor apart and you could actually rebuild it like you would rebuild a carburetor. This is built by the Trico company. It's upside down, but you can see it's Trico. And it's actually got some valves and gaskets in there similar to a carburetor kit. Now see, so you can see how this wiper is, it moves down and around inside there. It goes back and forth and you can see the wiping action that it will do. And then it's got, this is the main inlet right here for your vacuum coming out. And as the, the wiper moves to one side, then that valve changes and it pulls vacuum on this other side here, which allows it to pull the other direction. You can see the grace in here is pretty old. So all this is going to be changed, cleaned out, wiped out real good, and re-lubricated. Now what I've done is I've coated that gasket fairly liberally with the grease. And also I've put grease inside that unit. This is just a real thin Asian and Chrysler type of grease. And then next thing what I'll do is I'll pull these valves out of there and give them a little bit of grease as well and a little bit on the pivot right here and that should help it work All right. well unfortunately the video got scrubbed that I was looking at the video got scrubbed for the uh, wiper motor and I've installed it on the vehicle already and the vehicle's gone so I thought it all I had it all there but those valves, they toggle in between, kind of like an old steam engine, where the arm moves over and it opens one valve and that sucks the other side and then it moves over and it, it just keeps moving back and forth. It's a really simple system. Um, but it worked real good. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, engine vacuum was a little bit weak because the engine was uh, a little tired. So, and that 
was one of the things that makes or breaks whether or not these vacuum operated systems work is whether or not the engine is in good working order um, one of the things that they did too just to let you know is that uh, to substantiate or to help more vacuum it actually uh, the fuel pump actually had a vacuum pump attached to the head of it so as the fuel pump operated it also had a vacuum diaphragm on the end of it that would help to uh, work that uh, wiper arm or that wiper motor so anyway I'm gonna get a thumbs up thank you for watching and like share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll try to get you more content thank you and see you again